your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Ron Young. I like that formation. That was pretty cool. Right now, though, you are looking at our Bear Creek Smokehouse. This is our cam in uh, Marshall, Texas. And it does look like we have a pretty nice evening going on across the area. We will see a mostly clear sky as we go into the evening with a few clouds dotting the other uh, the area. But there are some changes coming in as we go into tomorrow. And that's due to, well, in part, a thunderstorm complex that's in the northwestern parts of the region. In fact, it's coming right down almost the Red River of some of the border area between Texas and Oklahoma. Now this is going to die out later tonight, but what's left of it could give birth to an area of low pressure, a disturbance we'll call it, that could move into the Arklatex tomorrow, mainly along the Red River or so, and that could lead to some rain across the southeast or the uh, western half of the Arklatex. There is a better look at it right now. It was a squall line, but now it's developed into a, a mass of thunderstorms continuing to hold together. But shortly after dark, it will die out. 89 degrees right now. Uh, the high temperature in uh, Shreveport, we made it up to 85 in Dequeen, made it up to 86 degrees in Marshall and 89 degrees both Manny and in Natchitoches today. So mid to upper 80s, close to 90 degrees for a couple of places. As far as the wind right now, it is out of the northeast, but we'll shift to the southeast as we go through the nighttime hours. Right now, all your winds, if not altogether calm, are less than five miles an hour. And your future cast, your Robbins Toyota future cast, will show that tonight is going to be fairly quiet. With the thunderstorms off to the northwest as we go through the rest of the night, not really much happening. By 7 p.m. tomorrow, we will have seen a few showers and maybe a random thunderstorm in the western parts of the Arklatex. But again, as we go overnight to 7 o'clock on your Tuesday morning, clouds will gather. And it looks like we'll have another chance of showers and thunderstorms as we go through your Tuesday, especially in the afternoon. Sounds like a summertime forecast, doesn't it? And it's going to feel like summer because we're going to be in the upper 80s and maybe even a few low 90s. As we go to Wednesday at 1 a.m., it looks like we will again see a mostly cloudy sky. And by 7 a.m., Yep, we're going to see another cloudy one. And again, the possibility of some afternoon showers and thunderstorms continuing across much of the Arklatex for your Wednesday. Now, moving into your Thursday, we'll have almost the identical forecast coming in once again. So how much rain can we expect out of all this? Well, don't expect a lot because it will be random afternoon showers and thunderstorms as we go through Thursday, 6 p.m. It looks like 16 hundredths of an inch in uh, the Marshall area, about a half an inch over towards Tyler, three tenths of an inch in Mount Pleasant. The rest of us will get a squirt or two, and <laughs> that's it. For your Memorial Day, though, don't worry about that 20%. It's going to be a great day. Otherwise, just look for a random shower, maybe a pop-up thunderstorm. It is going to be warm after a low of 65 up to 87. Same thing on Tuesday, same thing on Wednesday. We get a little warmer each morning and each afternoon. By Thursday, we're either side of 90, still that 20%. That'll go into your Friday with a partly cloudy sky. As we go into Friday night and into Saturday, looks like we will see an increase in thunderstorms. Still around 90 for an afternoon high, either side of 70 for morning low temperatures. We'll have a 30% Saturday and a 40% Sunday. We'll be right back. Keep it here.